Hi, I'm Graham Mossman from Intelligent Edge Group and in this short video I'll talk you through the various ways you can get data into and out of an Exasol database. I'm going to show you an easy way of transferring relatively small amounts of data, a much faster way of transferring huge amounts of data, and finally I'll show you how you can integrate this method into your favourite ETL tool. We'll start with the ExaPlus graphical query tool, which comes as standard with ExaSolution. Here I'm just going to right click on the country table and select export. Now I'm going to specify a target file name and specify how the export should look using some of these parameters. In the ExaPlus log output, you can see that we've invoked ExaSol's export function. This function has many more parameters than you see from the graphical interface and if you want more detailed control over the extract you would run this command from SQL. However it's very convenient for simple extracts to do it this way. Now let's look at the export file. You can see that it has all the data from the country table with the delimiter and end of line character that we specified. The import command is similar. First let's truncate our country table. We can right click on that country table and import from our export file. Now it's time for something more powerful. The ExaJload script is a flexible and fast command line utility which allows you to script complex data movement tasks. I'm going to run a simple import command using the file we created earlier, except this time I'm going to import it into a country2 table which I will create as part of the ExaJload script. Finally, I'm going to take our ExaJ load command and show you how to run it as part of an IBM data stage ETL process. First, I open data stage designer and create an execute command activity. The command is ExaJ load and in the parameter line, I've made all of the ExaJ load command line parameters into data stage parameters using the hash characters as shown here. Those data stage parameters are implemented as a parameter set. Every time you run the command, it will read the parameter values for that parameter set from a parameter file or from the keyboard. Here I'm going to input my parameter values from the keyboard. I run my script. I'm prompted for parameter values. I'll accept the defaults that I've previously defined. And now we have data stage successfully running an Exasol ExaJ load task. Now to summarize, it's very simple to get data in and out of Exasol. There is a point and click import export through the ExaPlus utility. Uh, if you want slightly more control over the export or import, then you can run the commands from SQL. You have more parameters available that way. If you've got more data when you want to script the import export, you should use the ExaJ load command line utility. This also is your gateway to integrating with ETL tools, for example, IBM Data Stage. There are other ETL tools on the market. Uh, the process of integrating is very similar. Thank you very much for your attention. If you would like any further information, please don't hesitate to contact me on youtube at edge-a.co.uk.